hi guys so in this video we're going to do uh, physical science paper 1 november 2018 so we're just going to do uh, this question 4 only the question of momentum so before we can start guys i would like to tell you about uh, our facebook page and a group and also our competition so we have a facebook page so this is the facebook page you can go and check it you see here it's maths and science top docs so you join this page so get notification each and every time so we're, go we're having lives on youtube or uh, on facebook sorry so on facebook it's where i will teach you guys live where you can ask questions and so on i will ask uh, answer your questions so we have our live each and every saturday and monday again you can check our fa our, our facebook group yes our facebook group the facebook group has the same name as a as a as a facebook page you can see it is this one here so you can ask to join you'll be accepted to join one last thing is maths and science competition so each and every wednesday we host maths and science competition where the price is from 20 rand to 500 rands so 500 rands can send to your bank account or it can be sent to you as an as a time so please feel free to join our youtube the uh, our youtube channel and also join our facebook page join our facebook group and also join our whatsapp competition so our competition is happening on whatsapp so if you want to be added in our competition you must join the facebook page and the group first so after that you can drop your numbers there so we can add you in our competition so if you need help also we also provide that okay thanks okay so now let's get into a business so this question carries 14 marks so i'm expecting myself to spend 40 minutes explaining this if i can spend more that means uh, i'm too slow if i can spend less that means i'm too fast okay so here let's let's get started says initially a girl a girl on a roller skates is addressed on a smooth horizontal pavement the girl throws a parcel of a mass 8 kg so the girl throws a parcel of mass 8 kg horizontally to the right at the speed of 4 meter per second so you can see this this is the is the is the parcel that the girl, the, the girl throw to the right so this is going to be our v initial so immediately after the puzzle has been thrown the girl roller skate combination moves at a speed of 0. Meter, uh, 0. 0.6 meter per second ignore the effect of friction and rotation so here if we're ignoring the free the, the effect of uh, of a friction and rotation Therefore, we're going to call this an isolated system. So if you want to learn about the isolated system, you can go back and watch my videos where I explain about the isolated system and so on. So here, let's choose a direction first. First thing to do is to choose a direction. So which direction are you comfortable with? For me, I think like if we can take this one right as positive, that's better. So let's say, let's take, take right as positive right as positive positive so if we take in right as positive what's going to happen remember this girl was holding this parcel so if this girl is throwing this away you can tell if this girl is throwing this away according to newton's law we have a reaction per force so if this girl is exerting a force on the box so that the box can move in this way the puzzle can move in this way also the puzzle is exerting a, a, a force on the girl so that the girl can move in this direction so you can check you can do you see that according to newton third law the girl the force that is applied by the girl on a parcel is the same as the force that the puzzle applies on a girl so that force can also cause the girl to move backwards so can you see that so as the parcel moves to the right to the right the girl can move to the left so do you see what i'm talking about i hope you see that okay so here 
we have our first question it says define the term momentum in weights so before you can define that as i told you in our first videos where i introduced momentum i have a videos where i introduced momentum and also the impulse so here momentum we said that momentum is defined as a mass multiplied by velocity so if momentum is defined as mass multiplied by velocity we we are going to we are going to define momentum in weights in terms of the equation so we can just define momentum as that also so we can just write it here that momentum it's a it's a it's a it's a product of mass and velocity product just a product product of mass the product of mass and velocity and velocity so you can see that so as i told you momentum is also a vector quantity okay now let's move to 4.2 so 4.2 it says will the will the girl roller skate combination move to the right or to the left after the puzzle was is strong so i already explained that that according to newton third law these two things are going to push it at each other to opposite direction so you can tell where the girl is going to move so obvious is going to move to the left is going to move to the left so it's going to move to the left so here it's left so it's going to move to the left so it says name the law in physics that can be used to explain your choice of direction so the law that you can be used to explain the choice of direction remember that here we are dealing with momentum so the law that can be used to explain the choice of direction is the conservation of linear momentum because it can tell you if you calculate the final velocity of something if it's negative so it tells you that's going to the left if it's positive it tells you that's going to the right so here we can say that's a conservation of linear momentum is a con the vision of linear momentum momentum is a conservation of linear momentum so that's a, the law that can be used in order to uh, find the direction of the object because it tells us that if we choose left as the positive and then when we calculate uh when we calculate the velocity and then we get negative uh, so therefore that thing is going to the left it is going to to the left if we took right as positive so here we're going to our second equation so this is 4.3 it's not the second one it's the third one 4.3 it says now the total mass of the roller skate is 2 kg so the total ma mass of the roller skate is 2 kg remember that skate only skate and the combination remember that here we have a girl and the skate so we are going to take this as one thing we are going to take the whole this we are going to take the whole that as a one thing so we are going to take the whole this as a one thing the whole this as a one thing and we are going to take this the whole this as one thing so first let's take this one as object one and then we take this as object two so let's see the next question so it says the total mass of the roller skate is 2 kg so this is the mass of the roller skate only so after that it says calculate the mass of the gear so now you have to calculate the mass of the gear so to calculate the mass of the gear we are using the law that we said it can help us to find the direction of the object so which law is that conservation of linear momentum so conservation of linear momentum in my last videos i explained what's a conservation of linear momentum and also how to prove that so in this video we're just going to apply that so we said that the sum of momentum initial is equal to the sum of momentum final of the system so the sum of momentum initial is equal to the sum of momentum final of the system so what's what's our system our system is the roller skate 
the, the girl and the person so the first we said that to have a m1 so m1 which is given by the mass of the girl plus the mass of the skate and then we have m2 so m2 which is given by the mass of the parcel so m2 is a mass of the parcel only and then after this it's where you are going to to move on to write this this formula in full so this one remember that you have to write it in full after that so it says that uh, mass initial mass of one multiplied by velocity one initially plus mass of two multiplied by velocity uh, of two initial is equal to mass of two multiplied by velocity of two final plus mass of one multiplied by velocity of one final. So this is our formula when you when when you expand it. So remember that they told us that initially the parcel and the girl they were stationary. That means the velocity initial of them it's zero. So they don't have any velocity initial. It's zero. So the velocity initial we can go back and revise. Can go back and revise. So if you read this again here it says that initially the roller skate is at a rest on a on a smooth horizontal pavement so that means the girl the roller skate and everything else they were at the rest so if they are at the rest here you are told at the rest and then if they are at the rest therefore the velocity initial is going to be that zero so now let's move on so for this one here, what, do I, what, what, do, what we can do now, we can just say 0 is equal to mass of 2 V final of 2 plus mass of 1 V final of 1. Because initially they had 0 and 0 and 0 and 0 and 0. Okay, so now we can take this to the other side. So we're going to have a mass of 2 multiplied by velocity final of 2 uh, is equal to minus mass of 1 multiplied by velocity initial of 1 okay so you can you can you, you you can tell me where we are going because we are almost there we are almost there so what we can do here we can just simply say we can just simply substitute this and we have a velocity final let's write the velocity final 2 we said 2 is a parcel right so they told us that the parcel finally it's moving to the right with 4 meter per second so therefore it's going to be positive so it's going to be positive because it's moving to that to that direction so they said that the v final of 1 which is a v final of a, of a, of a skate roller and and the girl it's moving to the left with 0 0.6 0 0.6 meter per second so the sign is going to be negative because you said that you choose left as negative and you choose right as positive so therefore it's going to be negative so you substitute this here so let's substitute m2 which is a mass of uh, it's a mass of the parcel we're given that uh let's just write those things here so we're going to have a mass two and then mass one so mass one and mass two so mass one remember that mass one is given by the mass of the girl and the mass of the parcel so we just leave it there and we we want mass one that's what we don't have mass two we do have it so mass two our mass two it's uh eight it's eight so it's 8 kg we are given that and the v initial of a uh, final of 2 is uh 4 meter per second and uh v final of 1 is minus 0 0.6 meter per second okay so we must be fast a bit so that we can finish early Okay, so if you substitute this here, since we have our M2, which is 8, 
you multiply by the v final of 2 which is 4 is equal to minus m1 and v final of 1 which was minus 0 0.6 so you see this minus they're going to cancel each other and then you're going to get m1 you're going to get m1 as 53.33 kg so we said what's m1 m1 is a combination m1 m1 is given by the mass mass of the parcel or of the girl plus mass of the skate okay guys so let's just finish our question paper for question four and then here since uh the mass one is given by the mass of the girl plus the mass of the skate so if we are or if we want the mass of the girl we can just say mass one which is this one is 53.33 is equal to mass of the girl plus mass of the skate and then we were told that the total mass of the skate is two here so we can just put two here and therefore you can write your final answer for mass of of the of the girl so mass of the girl when you take that mass of the skate to the other side it's going to be 53.3 minus 2 which is 51.3 kg then you are done then let's go to the last one it says it says calculate the magnitude of the impulse that the girl roller skate combination is experiencing while the parcel is being thrown so remember in our video in my last video i said that the impulse is given by the change in momentum so change in momentum is equal to impulse so when we are talking about the impulse actually we are talking about a change in momentum so what the change in momentum and we define the change in momentum as mass open bracket v final minus v initial so do we have those things for the parcel and uh, for the girl roller skate yeah we do because the mass m is given by the mass one so our mass one we know that is 53.33 that's what we calculated and our v initial since everything was at rest is zero meter per second and our v final our v final for those things if you still remember was here was this one here so we said that the v final is minus 0 0.6 meter per second you see that so now we can calculate the change in momentum by saying our mass which mass is 53.33 and then we open a bracket we say v final which is minus 0 0.6 minus v initial which is zero so our v initial is zero and our v final is start therefore you can find our final and we can find our final answer by saying change in momentum is equal to 53.33 times uh minus 0 0.6 and you are going to get minus 32 minus 32 so you decide the units so you decide the units so the units are going to be kg meter per second and you chose direction also so we said that anything that's positive is going to the right and anything that's positive is going to the left so where this is going to the left then you're done for that question so now we can move to our next and last question so it says without any further calculation so you must know that write down the change in momentum experienced by the parcel while it's being thrown so the change in momentum is going to be the same so the change in momentum of this if you have a two objects here if you have an object one and another object here two so the change in momentum of this object the change in momentum of 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 object one of object one is equal to the change in momentum of object two but in opposite direction so what's going to be our answer then so while it's been thrown so we're going to say the change in momentum of what the change in momentum of the parcel is equal to 32 kg meter meter per second to the to the right to the right to right so you are done okay thanks for watching my videos i hope you are going to be 
uh, here again when I, I'm doing question 5, question 6 up until the last question. Okay, thanks.